Hello and welcome to Well, it's not been a good week, so let's do it. I started doing these videos uh, about a month or so ago, and while the, the review side of things have been relatively easy, because I see enough movies and DVDs to sink, sink a proverbial uh, battleship, um, the views I always thought, found the, the harder one to, to nail, uh, mainly because I didn't realise I had many views. Um, you know, the opinions are like buttholes, everyone has one. Um, and the worry is if you express your opinion then suddenly you're going to get shot down. Um, see Twitter or Facebook or anything social media wise. Um, but I'm recording this today uh, after the bombings in Brussels. Now. I'm not going to get into a whole tirade about it because what the hell do I know about anything? And if you've been watching these videos for a month, you probably know the answer to that already. Um, I just, it's another reason why I realise we can't have nice things. It's another reason why um, the good guys um, aren't who we think they are and the, ba and the bad guys aren't who we think they are. Where everyone's, it's all shades of grey. Um and it's just trying to find a way to to be positive in a world that is just trying to keep on throwing negative things at us see donald trump david cameron nigel farage all that kind of stuff um and I, i'm trying to do that i'm trying to look at the positives you know the friends the family uh, that i have and i'm very lucky to have um and looking for, towards the future, you know, when I'm an international star, not just a YouTube blogger. Um, and also, the, the part of the reason why I do have it split as views and reviews as well is because I can have a contrast. I can look at the silliness that is the entertainment world. Because if you think the world revolves around entertainment and the Cardassians and Marvel movies and Star Wars movies, then just you're nuts because there is so much more going out there. Um, I'm, I'm not even aware of, you know. I mean, the the, the, the things with the, the bombings in Brussels is it's that's only one of countless attacks and deaths and violent uh, acts that have been going on for, for the last, well, few centuries. Um, but suddenly something like those attacks is what then gets these knee-jerk reactions from bullcrap merchants like uh, Trump. Um, and I don't want to go on about him either because the more I think people talk about him, the more he he gets power from it. Some of some kind of weird kind of negative vibe sucking demon with bad hair and a lump of lump of tan. Um, there is no point. It's just rambling ramblings as per usual. Um, but I just I, I I felt I could do this video this week without making some reference to it. Uh, to what's happened it's i don't know what the death uh, toll is now um i've been um otherwise engaged this this, this afternoon this evening um and that's the other thing i try to stay away from the news because it's just so depressing um but i have been seeing some good films so with that in mind uh moving on I love a good documentary. I'm a huge uh, documentary animac. Uh, Netflix, my list for that is just predominantly documentaries and Daredevil at the minute. Um, Captain Friedman's, uh, The Inside Job, all that kind of stuff. I, I, I lap it up. I, I, I'm always interested in watching new uh, worlds and looking at different people. Amy was probably my favourite documentary of last year. Uh, I think I might have seen my favourite documentary of this year, um, this week. Uh, it's called Speed Sisters. Um, now, this is a very odd uh, story about uh, a group of um, Middle Eastern women who uh, are race car racers. They, 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 they drive cars uh, for sport. And there's not going to be any jokes about women drivers here or parallel parking that kind of nonsense because this isn't the 70s. Um, it's a fascinating 
uh, look at these women who are in this world kind of between Palestine and Israel and uh, in, you know, look, looking at their gender, looking at um, even the, 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 the battles between themselves in terms of you know their abilities um, and the rivalries that, that, that contain within that it's 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 great because it it pulls you in um much like the best documentaries because you you you're in you're into the 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 people you're into the situation and um it's 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 also a great great if you're a top gear fan and i don't mean the top gear like you just like the casual racism and stuff and that i mean you're a proper gearhead you like your cars fast cars um it's it's got got that kind of uh, element, real good good soundtrack, a thumping soundtrack, in fact, uh, and the cars doing doing their their, their thing. Um, it's it's just fascinating. Um, I, I I can't say enough things uh, good things about this this documentary. Um, I, I I loved it. Um, the fact that it's looking at women within a situation that you know they are deemed as you know, for lack of a better word, second class citizens, but they, but at least in the Western world, we you know we're far more civilized. You know, they haven't got any of these problems. You know, like you know, uh, unequal pay and you know, different standards. Wait, see, that's this is the thing. It's it, it's a, it's a really good insight into what is wrong with with men, and as a man, I realise that there's quite a few things wrong with us. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I'm, it's going probably, probably going to be in limited release, but it's out on Friday, uh, and I I recommend it uh, to anyone. If you're male, female, if you like cars, if you like looking at good wo you know, women doing uh, very cool things, it's it it, it gets uh, it gets my recommendation. This week uh, we're coming up to the Easter holidays, so obviously the cinemas are going to be filled with all your uh, little animated movies and family flicks. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 3 is already out, it's, which is average at best. Uh, it's fine if you like Jack Black being Jack Black uh, for about an hour and ten minutes. But the film I want to talk about is the new Disney uh, animated movie Zootopia, or Zootropolis, depending on what side of the pond you're on. Uh, it features a world where animals can talk and walk and uh, do the thing. Uh, the, it's a world where animals are split between predator and prey, and uh, they're trying to get along, but there's a bit of a weird kind of, uh, sort of dif difference of opinions between uh, the the two sort of side of the fence. Um, and the the main star is a plucky young bunny who decides to become a cop, and she joins forces with a cunning fox. So cunning, he's got the idiot's guide to cunning uh, to. Um, find out what is uh, going wrong with the city when uh, some people, some animals, start to disappear. Um, oh, Disney are a bit of a weird bunch at the minute. They, they're, they're churning out some interesting movies. Uh, I didn't expect much f from this one. Um, they, the, the, the focus was on the promotion for the sloth scene, which is funny if you've seen it once. If you've seen it five times, it kind of starts to lose its, its, its humour. Um, the the interesting thing I found with it though was the, some of the the references and some of the the, the subtext. Um, there seems to be a focus on uh, almost like race or gender equality. Um, there's a few jokes references where you know the 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 the, the bunnies can only call each other cute. Another animal can't call them cute, which you know that felt a little bit near the knuckle in terms of uh, especially where where you know we're, we're talking about diversity in cinema and on award season and stuff like that um and you never really expect a breaking bad reference in a disney movie but there is one and it's pretty good um i laughed it's it's some very funny moments uh the voice work is is very strong they're they're not very starry but they're they're, they're perfectly cast for for the roles of in um, Idris Elba as the the gruff uh, police chief being a prime example. Um, it's it, it it's entertaining. I think I I saw it at a press screening with uh, a group of kids uh, in the front 
four or five rows and they seem to enjoy it uh, the olds I think laugh more if anything um, so it's almost going down the Pixar route of kind of entertaining two levels of, of an audience um, but yeah I I think in terms of the, the, the family movies this Easter that's probably the one I'd, I'd go with I'm not going to go into too much detail about 10 Cloverfield Lane uh, the, the new sort of kind of possibly follow on from Cloverfield uh, because I don't think spoilers are cool uh, in reviews and I don't think it, it it's it's a nice thing to do. Uh, what I will say is the plot revolves around uh, a young woman who is caught in a car accident and wakes up to find herself in an underground bunker with a strange man and uh, he tells her that the world as they know it has pretty much ended and it's just them and one other uh, guy uh, that have survived in this little bunker when they kind of have to make a life together. Um, it's it's a fascinating movie. Um, it's directed by Dan Trachtenberg, who I remember from being one of the co-hosts for the brilliant Totally Mad show from a few years back. Uh, he did a calling card movie a couple of years back with uh, a Portal short film. Uh, and if you've seen that, you'll know that he is a guy who likes, uh, who's very skilled as a, as a filmmaker. Uh, and 10 Cloverfield Lane shows that even more. He he knows the, the visual format um, and aided with a really good score and, and a nicely uh, written script. It's a, a tense little movie, um, very claustrophobic, Hitchcockian in places. Um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, I, I've, I've always adult, adored her. I think she's been brilliant in pretty much everything she's been in. And this hopefully will get give her a, a boost up to uh, up to up there with 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 the best of the the young female actresses because uh, she just if it wasn't for John Goodman uh, she would have owned the entire movie. But John Goodman is was also brilliant, um, but but uh, Winstead is 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 remarkable, um, almost kind of like a Ripley type character. It's very very it got a lot of inner strength going on there. Um, yeah, I. I I, I liked it a lot. It uh, it surprised me, and I, I films haven't been surprising me recently, and and it's nice to have that kind of um, that 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 slightly sort of shock uh, to it. Uh, but yes, I definitely recommend uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane. Very very quickly, very very quickly, because uh, it probably won't be on the cinema for very long. Um, but The Witch uh, is out now, and it's a nice creepy little uh, thriller not a horror it's not a, a, a cattle prod type um, movie it's set in a sort of oldie worldy uh, place where a family have been uh, sort of sent out uh, for unexplained reasons and they're next to a, a, a wood and they find things go wrong quite quickly uh, it's that's a nice uh, sort of gripping um, little chiller. It's some sort of beautifully dark moments, um, and while it's not going to be for everyone's cup of chai, I th uh, people are expecting the cattle prod, the jump scares. There's none of that. There's the the score. It just kind of gets under your your um, your skin. Uh, and yeah, it's it's filled with some really good performances. Um, but yeah, it's, if if you like to if you like to be challenged, um, go see the witch. It's it's quite a bit different from from the the usual thing. Hey, that's it for this episode. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and tell five of your friends. Uh, if you didn't, please tell ten of your friends. Uh, you can follow my random ramblings on Twitter at my school brain. I've got a Facebook page and the link to my blog should be below. Uh, thank you for watching again and until next time, laters! In a world of typically Disney style anthropomorphic... That's the word. Uh, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic... Talking animals. Thank <laughs> you.